Okay, so I'm going to start with tinted glass. Okay, so basically, and this video is strictly for you, Sam, um, a lot of these chords are just, they're kind of just triads. They're, if you were to think about the piano, um, they're just the root, and the fifth, and then the third. They don't come in the same order as they do on the piano, unfortunately, when you make these chords. It's a root, fifth, third. The first chord is a C chord. It's a C, and then it's a G, right? And then, actually, that's just the other C. That's the octave. And if you were to play the third, right there, the E, You can just do them like this and just do the root, fifth, and root, uh, which is all you really need for certain power chords. This is built off the, the A string on the third fret, so it's A string, third fret, D, or fourth string, fifth fret, and then pinky on the uh, uh, fifth fret of the, that's the third string, yeah. And you're only going to play those three strings. You have to limit your strum to those three strings. Granted, you don't have a hoops of guitar at home, but you know when you come to your lesson on Friday, We'll, talk, we'll just plug you into what I'm playing right now. So that's a basic form power chord, and just to begin, really, just keep that shape. You know, you're never going to use the center finger for any of your three-tone power chords, um, or three-string power chords, I should say. Um, you're going to just use first finger, fourth finger, and or third finger, fourth finger. Um, the finger numbers are different for guitar than they are piano. First, second, third, fourth. So again, this is the first chord, C power chord. And then you're going to take this shape, take this, this is going to be your, your index finger is going to hit the root every time. And you're going to take it up to what we call D sharp, which is built off of the sixth fret of the same string. Just like so. So just think of your first finger as a guy. So we're going to play off the fifth string, A string. We're going to go third fret. So sixth fret. And I'm going to take the shape, I'm going to bring it up to the top string of the fourth fret. So again, fourth, fourth fret here, sixth fret, sixth fret. This is basically just a passing A my or uh, A flat chord. And then we're going to slide everything down one fret to the third string, or third fret. And I know this video might be a little bit unclear, but I'm trying to rush through it before my student gets here because I want you to have something to work on. So again. We are building this off of the A string. On the right hand, that's where it gets a little bit um, tricky too. Uh, but probably not for you. I'm assuming that the stuff will come a little bit quicker to you. And if it doesn't, we can talk about it at lessons. I just want to have something for you to warm up on. So first chord, all down the strokes. And then top set of strings, fourth and sixth fret. Just slide down one fret with all your fingers. Rhythm guitar and electric guitar can be very easy. So if it seems easy, it probably is for you. And if that's the case, then we can come up with way more interesting stuff for you to do. But for now, if you're just going to watch the right hand, um, the right hand technique, I do a lot of scratching and rhythmic moves. That's that part. Just going to bring everything down on the same set of strings from here to the first fret, which is basically this is an F power chord. This is, you know, F and C without the A. You know, one and two and three and four and all eight notes. And then slide, same string, slide up to the third fret. One and two and three and four and You know, and then it'd be, it'd provide a good, um, Rhythm for me and if you want for him to do his little lead thing, right? You can email me if you have any questions. I just figured that would get you started.